Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Alpha, and today we're back for another Pokemon Challenge video. Today we're on Pokemon Shield, and today's challenge will be Can I Beat Pokemon Shield Using Only Route 1 Encounters? Now, I haven't done a Sword and Shield video on this channel in a long time, and we're back on it. This is the newest generation of Pokemon in the game, and as well, the new uh, the new Pokemon are introduced in this game. So I've been, uh, I'm still not too familiar with what happens in the game, and what Pokemon are in the game, for sure, for sure. But I know for sure, for guaranteed, that Route 1 Pokemon are always bad. So we are going to try to use the Route 1 encounters, not including our starters, of course, into our team and try to beat the game with it. I'm also using your guys' nickname in the comment section below. So here's the four nicknames I'm using for this challenge. So if you guys want to be nicknamed after a Pokemon in my challenge video, just leave it in the comments down below and hopefully I'll pick yours. And as well, if you're down there, if you guys are excited for this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, some challenge ideas, and also subscribe if you guys are not already. And now let's get into the challenge. So the challenge is consisting of Route 1 encounters. I gotta catch a rookie, a Wulu, uh, the squirrel thing, and also a Nicket. Apparently, you'll find out that all of these are very important to my team. Somehow, I'm going to force you train one Pokemon up so I can get a strong Pokemon to like beat the game. As well, I have an XP share on, so I get XP spread across four Pokemon, so you know all of them kind of stays the same level. I'm gonna trade up my Rookie D more than everything else. Rookie D and Nicket more often than not will be my uh, two Pokemon I want to trade up the most. And we're gonna head into the first city where we're gonna be introduced into stadium fights and whatnot, and then head into around the first gym. The first gym will be pretty easy for us. Uh, it's a long process to get to the first gym. I'll say this: two and a half hours before I get to the first gym. But it's worth it. This is an, <laughs> I took a long time recording this video. That's why I didn't get to post one uh, the previous days. So I'm sorry for that. But we're going to head into uh, the grass type gym leader of the game. And the puzzle in here is very easy to do. Which is kind of funny. Because most of my friends do struggle with this puzzle. Uh, shout out Dan. Eventually I actually evolved my rookie into Corvus Squire. And then I could beat the first gym leader with this Corvus Squire on my team. Flying obviously beat grass, so it's very it's fairly simple. I'm not gonna lie. But from here, I'm gonna be blunt. My team is garbage. This cover sky is gonna carry me through the game, so is this Nicket uh, that evolves into a Devo. But everything else is kinda ass because everyone else just learns the same moves. I don't have any variation. I don't have a water move, I don't have a fire move, I don't have a grass move. So I'm very limited on what I can do for this entire run. So heading into the second gym, it's just the same thing. It's the same situation. I can't do too much. The gym puzzle in here, very fun to do. I love the gym puzzle. However, I, again, I just have to rely on the same things and I can't do much. So the second gym, I actually black out multiple times. And you see right here, I lose to the Dreadnought so many times. It's kind of annoying at some points. Uh, you would think I'll learn my lesson and just give up on this challenge. But no, I'm just losing over and over. Even I'm getting different boosts and whatnot, it's not working. Eventually, uh, my power trip max darkness will actually be enough to knock out the Dreadnought, and luckily it didn't kill me. Uh, I love the gym fight music in the background, as you guys can see here, it's very nice to hear that. And here we're going to fight against Bead. Bead is going to take a while as well, it's going to beat us down a little bit. And then we're going to fight against Marnie. Marnie's going to be a bit trouble too, because uh, we don't have anything to deal with electric types for a while either. And now heading into the fire type gym leader, we're doing gyms quite, uh, we're doing gyms quite uh, rapidly. It's just back to back to back, and now we're just gonna beat down the whole. This is a cool gym puzzle. You gotta beat down Pokemon to earn points while your teammate is trying to beat down the same Pokemon and also trying to sabotage you. This could be a cool little mini game in the future. However, heading into the fire type gym leader. Obviously, I I doubt it was gonna be good because uh, my core scar got knocked out really fast, um, and then I just lose overall. So what I have to do is sacrifice most of my Pokemon, have my core scar out, and then hopefully the Arcanine doesn't do anything too dangerous to me. I can home claws up, and then Dynamax, and then I can hit him with an Airstream and Airstream, and then knock him out. Because Airstream boosts my speed, so now I'm faster than everything. And that's the only way for me to beat the fire type gym leader. If my Corviscar goes down at any point, it's over. Now, since I said that Corviscar is actually going to be power creeped, and now it's going to be less useful than a lot of things, uh, which is, is unfortunate. Everyone else is evolving around Corviscar. Now I have to wait until it evolves into a Corviknight for it to be useful. So we're going to beat through the little desert 
in this route and then head into the next gym. Corvus Squire has a dark move on his arsenal. Oh, I also blacked out here, which is kind of embarrassing, but <laughs> it is what it is. Couldn't do too much against a pseudo Wudo, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But now, heading into the ghost type gym leader game, we also beat down Hop over here. Took a little bit, but you know, Hop's gonna be a dangerous threat in the future as well. Now heading into the ghost type gym leader of the game. Uh, the puzzle here is fun. I love the puzzles in this game. The puzzle in the game is very, very fun. However, Corvus Squire is no longer that useful. It's going to get beat down very easily. So we are going to, we are going to want more from our Devo. Uh, so now, now heading to the gym fight, I'm start off with my Devo. I'm a nasty plot. It's going to disable my nasty plot, but I'm already boosted up, so it doesn't matter. Mimikyu comes out. I'm not going to risk my Devo, uh, so I'm going to send out my Corvus Knight. I'm going to send out my Corvus Squire just to break his disguise and then slowly weaken it down. And then have my Theo knock it out with a snarl, and that's it for that. Then I'm a Dynamax and obviously knock out. I'm gonna knock out the Glaring Corsola, and then since I'm boosted up, I can knock out the Gigantamax Gengar. From here, we're gonna fight against Bead, and you know, Bead is obviously a psychic guy now. He's gonna he's gonna need to get destroyed easily by my Devil. We're gonna uh, try to train up my Corviknight, and then from here, we're gonna actually train up my Corvus Squire. Uh, that's a really that's really all I can do. I want to get a Corviknight for the Fairy type gym. It did not work. I couldn't get four levels. So, what's gonna happen? So once I beat down the trainers here, I beat down the puzzle. I'm gonna fight against the fair type gym leader of the game, and obviously she has this unique quiz thing. It obviously boosts up your stats. However, it's not enough for me because most of my Pokemon are not good enough. So Devo actually goes down when I'm trying to, you know, put it up. And the only way for me to actually beat it is actually, well, losing with blackout. Then I started using my Greedin. Greedin is the squirrel Pokemon in the game. I have rest on it. I have stock up on it. So I boost my defenses as well. She gives me some boost herself because of the quiz. And then uh, Body Scan will knock out everything on her team as well as Dig for the Mawel. And then, you know, we're going to Dynamax against her Gigantamax cupcake thing. Uh, and then we're going to knock it out. So that's the only way to beat it. So everyone's becoming a little more useful except the Wudu. Here we're forced against to fight against our rival. We're gonna beat him a bit easier. We can paralyze the Cinderis and then knock it out. And then our Corvus Squire will actually evolve after this. And lucky for us, because uh, we needed it. Corvus Squire finally evolves into a Corvus Knight, and now we have a full threatening team. Kinda, kinda, not really. We have a route one team, and that's all we have. From here, we're gonna head into the Ice type gym leader of the game. The ice type gym leader game. Oh my god, this puzzle was so difficult starting off when you play this game. It's the most annoying puzzle you have ever done in a Pokemon game. It's not that hard uh, now redoing it, but it's so hard at the start. Now heading into the ice type gym leader game. I'm just in uh, home close up and then Corviknight is going to smash everything. Into the Lapras comes out into and I'm just going to waste turns with the Lapras for it to go a bit down. And then I'm going to put some damage onto it. Devo can finish things off with the Snarl. I don't get any better moves. This is it for uh, Devo. I didn't get Dark Pulse because I was too lazy to fight Dens and, you know, risk the chance of not getting it and just keep going and keep going. And also, like, XP candidates are kind of broken. Anyways, heading into the Hop fight. Uh, I might need to rethink the XP candy statement because I keep getting demolished by his uh, Cinderins. Uh, I, I died three times against him, and that is just kind of embarrassing against Hop. Jeez, oh, but eventually we do beat him down. Then we're gonna head into the next gym, which is going to be against Team Yells Piers. This gym fight is actually the easiest one because it doesn't have Dynamax and no Gigantamax I have to worry about. So going through the gym puzzle, it's a little fun, you know, very aesthetic looking place, but. We head into the gym fight against Pierce. Pierce is going to have dark type Pokemon. Corviknight is just going to boost up and just beat down Pierce. I'm, I'm be honest. Pierce is not that much of an issue. Uh, Corviknight just demolish everything and just eat up everything. Uh, it's a free badge. We're going to head into the Dragon Gym Leader of the Games little trial. Uh, we got to beat down everyone here in double battles. Uh, obviously, they have rain, they have sun, they have hail. So... <laughs> Of course, the final one is going to be Sand, and the Sand one is going to be annoying. Uh, luckily, I actually boost up with Corviknight with Home Claws, and then I'm actually knock out most of his Pokemon with Corviknight until his Duraludon comes out. It's your Adamax Duraludon. Um, luckily for me, I got boosted up, and I can knock out the Duraludon with a crit, and it goes down. And that's it. So the, the last gym fight wasn't that hard. 
However, the next few fights heading into the stadium is a, it's very hard. I will not lie. Uh, I'm getting knocked down by a lot of things here. But heading into Winden Stadium, Winden Stadium is going to be the home of technically the Elite Four. It's like a tournament style. Uh, we're going to head into the tournament. We're going to face against Marnie. Marnie's going to have a pretty decent team. Uh, except for Lipard. Like, she's going to start with a Lipard. I'm going to start off the fight against Lipard with a Home Claws. And then I just get boosted up slowly. She can set out her Morpeko. I'm going to knock out the Morpeko. I'm going to also knock out the Scrafty as well. <laughs> Her Grim Snarl, her Gigantamax Grim Snarl will be sent out. I'm out of Dynamax, so but I'm also still fast in it. So I knock myself out with a Breaker, but it's just so much damage. Next up, I'm going to face against Hop for our final battle together. Uh, this is the semi-final battle before we go into the Champions Cup. Uh, we're going to beat down most of the Pokemon again with the same situation. I outspeed everything. He's send out his double against my Corviknight. I'm a home claws right in front of his face. Get boosted all the way up and then Airstream to boost my speed. Knock out the double his little... His little uh, sea urchin comes out. I'll knock that out as well. The Snorlax comes out. It's going to get knocked out as well. It's going to hammer on me, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, he sends out his Corviknight, and I actually get the best of that thing as well. And finally, his Cinderus comes out. Uh, Giant, he's going to Dynamax it. I'm going to actually not be able to outspeed it because the Corviknight uses two scary faces against me. So I actually run out of... I kind of just not outspeed the Cinderus, and it knocks me out. But I'm able to waste its Dynamax turns with my Thievo. I'm actually able to knock it out with my Double. And that's the end. The Cinderance and Hop. So that is a pretty fine battle for us. We're going to do a little odd things right now. We're going to beat down Olina's like these fake League people. And then head into obviously the tower. We're going to fight against a bunch more Double battles. Which is so annoying because they're all Steel types. And no one on my team is good against Steel types. So we're going to have to fight against all the Steel types. And Hop is so smart that he uses his double, his normal type against all these Steel types. So it's even longer. Anyways, we head into Olina. Olina's going to be a bit annoying. Uh, she can start out with her Frostlass to start. Uh, I'm going to use Home Claws with my Corvum Knight. It's going to Will Wisp me, which is unfortunate. I'm going to Brave Bird, actually knock it out, which is a good hit for me. I'm going to sacrifice my Corvum Knight for some damage on the Salazzo. And then head into my double. Double will outspeed, headbutt it, the Salazzo. And then Malatek comes out. I actually knock out the Malatek with my Greedent, which is pretty nice. The Serena will come out. Uh, it's actually getting acrobatics against me, whatnot, but I have Cotton Guard up, so I can slowly beat it down. And then she's going to send out her Gigantamax Garbodor. Again, I have a bunch of boosts up right now with my Double, and then I'm just going to knock it out with my own Dynamax Double uh, Headbutt. It's not going to do anything to me because I have Cotton Guard up, and we beat down Olina. From here, Beat makes a surprise return. He's going to fight against me. Uh, he's going to send out his Mawile first. I'm going to send out my Corviknight. I'm going to switch into my Devo. Try to get rid of the Intimidate debuff he sent on me. And then I'm going to just start home closing up. And then I'm going to also use Max Airstream on it. Just to, you know, just to weaken him down a little bit. And also get my speed up. And eventually, I actually knock out Mawile's Pokemon. And then he sends out his... So once I get all the boosts, I'm going to knock out his Mawile. I'm going to knock out his Gardevoir. I'm going to also knock out his Rapid Ash, which he loves pretty much. And then he's going to send out his Hatterene. His Hatterene's not going to do too much. I'm actually Brave Bird it. It doesn't kill it in one hit, so that's fine. It does enough damage for me for my Greedent to actually knock it out. And that's the end of Bead. So from here, we're going to actually fight against the Gym Leaders for a second time around in the Tournament Cup. So we're going to fight against Nessa. Nessa's going to be a bit easier now. I'm able to set up against the Galosapod. You know, get it to emergency exit so it gets out of here. Get boosted up, beat down a bear scooter, beat down the Galosapod, then beat down the Sea King. And then finally beat down her Pelipper and finally her last Pokemon will be the Dreadnought. Dreadnought is gonna be a bit annoying but I'm actually max steal it and then it goes down. So all the boost actually helps me and it goes down pretty easily. From here we're gonna fight against Alistair, the ghost type gym leader once again. This time we're not going to have that easy of a run against her. Uh, it's going to disable me and whatnot. It's going to be a, a bit annoying, but we're going to knock down the Dusnor. Then knock out the Chandelier. Also, the Pulti guys with my boost. Uh, it does it does protect, which is annoying. That's the only reason why I didn't I wasn't able to beat all of her Pokemon with my Devo. Knock out her Cursula as well, and then face against the Gengar, Gigantamax Gengar, which is a bit annoying. But we do end up beating it. Our sacrifice, our greeting, and our double for this. 
and then use our Corviknight to beat down the Gengar. And that's it for the Gengar. From here, we're going to face against Raihan, the Dragon type gym leader, which he uses a Torko in, which is interesting. He does what he does, he does what he can. For this, I actually lose my Tivo and I lose my Corviknight, which is interesting. So I'm going to have to rely on Greedent stockpiling up against the Torko and then healing up using Rest, and then I just slowly beating it down with Body Slam. So Body Slam would knock out the Torko. And Body Slam would knock out the Terminator. And as well as the Gudra. I'm going to also beat down the Flygon. And then he's going to obviously send out his Duraludon. It's going to be annoying. Slowly I beat it down and I'm able to knock out the Duraludon. Without too much trouble. So from here we're going to face against Leon. Just kidding. The world's ending. So we're going to do a bit of bad track. And we're going to find the Sword and Shield. Ah, uh, the logo. We're going to face against Mirror Rose. Rose is going to be uh, an interesting fight. He's also pure steel type so it's gonna be kind of a troubling fight i'm gonna boost up against this s cavalier uh he's gonna boost up with me but i'm gonna airstream him knock out all of his but one essentially knock out his cling clang as well knock out easily knock out his ferrothorn and then the berserker comes out uh that thing gets knocked out as well Actually, Copperjaw doesn't end up beating me at the end, and I beat up Copperjaw with just my Corviknight, and we beat Rose just with my Corviknight. And that's it for Mayor Rose, so we're going to head into the turn of this fight. The turn of this fight is not too much at all. I mean, I'm going to send out my Devo first, and I'm just going to let it ha be there. i uh, slowly knock it out. Uh, in his normal form, my Greedon actually knocks it out, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, it goes down and then heads into his Gigantamax form. Which is a bit annoying. It's kind of scary. It looks like a raid fight, but I, you just got to click buttons. All you got to do is click buttons. You won't actually lose anything. Uh, you just click buttons. Just keep clicking A and you'll beat it. Uh, the Sword and Shield Pokemon will carry you through it. The Behemoth Bash and Behemoth Sword. And it's just going to knock it out. And then you catch it, turn it this. And now you are heading into the champion fight. The champion fight of the game is against Leon, of course. I'm going to weaken down the Age Slash with my Devo using Parting Shot, lower its stats a little bit. Then have my Coronet boost up right in front of it. And then I Gigantamax for no reason here is King King Shield. I'm going to waste some Dynamax turns. And eventually, I just end up not being able to you know, knock out anything else with my boosted up Corviknight. Uh, besides the Drag Bar, I knock out the Drag Bar. And then finally, the Charizard comes out. I end up fighting the Charizard with my Greedent. Uh, luckily, I got a Paralyze, and then it still outspeeds me because it used Max Airstream against my other Pokemon. So, luckily, luckily it gets Paralyzed, and then I knock it out using a Body Slam. And so, Greedent <laughs> ends up being the last alive on my team, and that's the end of Leon. So, we beat the champion of the game, and <laughs> we beat the game using only Route 1 encounters. It's a pretty interesting challenge, I will admit. But, <laughs> that it took a while, I will not lie. It took a long time. I didn't get to do too much training, so that might be why for the blackouts, but it, you know, for Sword and Shield, that, that was a pretty difficult challenge, and uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas, and also subscribe if you guys are not already. My name is Alpha, and I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm out. Peace.